Hey y'all, I am back with another nail tutorial and I'm super excited about showing you guys this one because they came out so cute. This is a inspired set so I will be sure to leave the name of the nail tech where I saw the original picture from down below in the description. So I just want to thank you guys for your feedback from my last video. I asked if you would like to continue to see these types of sets and a lot of you guys said yes. So I'm really glad I asked because I probably would have not even uploaded this video since the last video I uploaded was so similar. So I'm really glad that I asked and you guys said something. So to start this set off, I have already done my natural nail prep. So I have pushed back her eponychium. I have went in with my cuticle bit, went in with my sanding band, etched her nail plate, and then I applied my stiletto tips from Amazon. And I have shaped them into the stiletto shape. And then I dehydrated and now here I'm priming. So I'm going to start my application with Young Nails Cover Pink and I'm going to use that color to build up my nail bed. Now when it comes to building up your nail bed, you know there's different ways that you can do it. You can do it just freehand and build it up yourself or you can apply your bead and use a French nail cutter and cut that nail bed out. Now since I have been doing so many of these French sets, I have just been building it up. I find that it's faster and it's just taking away that extra step of using the cutter. So like I've mentioned before, when I start out my consultation, I'm already thinking of my game plan. And if I know I'm doing a full set of French, then I'm always just going to build it up because like I said, that's faster for me. Now, if I was going in and it was just going to be one or two, I'll possibly use my cutter. But like I said, it just depends on how I feel. So to build up this nail bed, I'm going to start with a medium sized bead. I'm gonna place that at the center of the nail and then I'm gonna start bringing it in. Now once I bring my bead in, I'm going to take my brush and then I'm going to spread out that bead from side wall to side wall. I feel like that is very important because that's going to set up how your bead flows down. If you don't have it even on both sides, then your bead is not going to flow down evenly. So I always make sure that when I am flattening out the back area of my bead, that I do that, I make it even. Now, once I have that bead brought down, I will just start forming it into a almond shape. And as I'm doing that, I'm paying attention to the sidewalls. Now where her free edge starts, that's where I'm going to start bringing in the reverse nail bed sidewalls. So if I do every nail beginning at the natural nails free edge, then that's how you know all of your nails are gonna be consistent and even with each other. So that's why I say pay attention to the sidewalls and pay attention to where you're starting to bring in that almond shape. Like I said, when you're doing nails, you want everything to be consistent. You don't want one nail to be shaped this way and another one shaped that way. So pay attention to your application. So since I have been doing so many of these sets, y'all, my time has gotten a lot better when it comes to a reverse nail bed. Now, before when someone would come in and they would want a full set, it would take me forever. <laughs> but now, of course, since I have been doing so many, I have gotten a little bit better at my timing. Now, granted, I think it's because I've gotten in such a good rhythm when it comes to applying it. Like I said, I start my bead at the center, I know exactly where to bring it in, and then all I have to do is come in with the cuticle bead. So it's all about rhythm. And of course, when you start doing something over and over again, the next time you do it, you're just going to go straight to autopilot. It's just going to be automatic for you. And also, in the back of my head, I'm thinking, you can't waste any time when it comes to this because the French is only the first half 
of this design. You have to get that down, but then after that and you're done with your application, you have to do a whole bunch of nail art. So I know I cannot waste any time when it comes to doing this application. Okay, so once I have all of my nail beds done, I went in and I filed them all into shape, brushed away any dust, and then scrubbed them of any dust, and now I'm applying my colors. Now this is my regular old white that I always use, my i and M. I love it. It is the only white I use. Super bright, non-yellowing. I love the way it dries. It's I just stick with it if I find something that I like I stick with it and this one I really do love so I'm going to get that color down and as you can see I applied it pushed it back and now I'm just going in and filling in some spots that were needed on the sides so now I'm coming in and I'm using this pink by model ones it is so pretty you guys I'm not gonna get like into a full review of it because I I'm going to do a separate video because I have a whole bunch of new powders from them well not a bunch but I have some and I want to share them with you guys but this pink I absolutely love I have been in search of like pinks here lately because I've noticed when people come in and they want like a certain pink I don't have it like I have just like the basic pinks i don't have like a bubble gum or or a pink like this so i've been searching y'all i got this pink and i kid you not i have used it like four or five times since i've gotten it and i just got it okay <laughs> so i have been using it a lot such a beautiful color but like i said i'm not gonna get into it i'm gonna save that for the review but i love it y'all it is so pretty so for the middle finger, I'm going to be using this blue. This one is also from Model Ones. And look at it, y'all. It is just such the perfect powder blue color you could ever see. <laughs> I'm telling you, I need to get my butt into gear and do this darn review because these colors that I have swatched from them that they recently just sent me, I've been loving them so I need to get through all of the colors and see how those ones look because I am very pleased at these two colors and y'all know people love to put pink and blue together and honestly I'm not a big fan of that because I automatically think of um, like baby shower theme or something like that but this set Mm -mm, I wasn't even getting them vibes it it all just came together and and honestly these colors are just so pretty so I'm just going to build this up y'all and I'm doing it the same way I'm using that same technique I'm starting at the tip and then I'm pushing that color back into the nail bed and I'm being really careful about not getting it on the nail bed because like I said if this is a full set I don't have time to be sitting up and letting it dry and going back and fouling it I need to apply it neatly free from the nail bed and then I need to be able to cap it so that's what I'm doing here for the pointer this one is also going to be white and then the thumb is also going to be white now, like I said, once I have all of these placed, I'm going to go in and I'm going to cap all of these and then I'm going to foul them and get them into shape and then we will be ready for design. So for my nail art, I got my little palette here and I just got some colors that were as close to those colors that I used in the set. I really tried to get them to match as good as I can. If you have a color and you feel like it is not as close to the color you need it to be mix it because that's what I did I just had these colors and they weren't light enough so I just added some white to them so for this French nail I'm going to start creating some cow print cow print y'all is very rustic I feel I feel like it's hard to mess it up so to create it I basically just make a blob and I make sure that my edges are rounded and also that it's not all uniform you know some of it is skinny starting at the top and then the other bottom half is more <laughs> it's hard to explain but like I said it's just 
a blob basically <laughs> so I'm gonna go in on the pointer and do that same thing I'm going to make cow print but this one of course I'm going to use the pink and I also go in and just add little dots in between the cow print like I said it's just how you visually want to see it if you want to you can use a picture for reference if you want to be just spot on I know when I first did a cow print design I felt like I did too much so I had too many and you really couldn't see the white because I had filled it up so much with cow print so now when I make it I make sure that I space it out and I really don't overdo it so things like that you learn as you go and unfortunately that's how we learn we learn from our mistakes so for the middle finger i'm going to go in and start creating some smiley faces and i'm going to use that pink and i'm going to take my dotting tool and i'm just going to swirl that around and make small little circles my dotting tools y'all have just been getting some work here lately <laughs> and for a long time they were hidden in the back of my stash never to be found never to be used i actually use a dotting tool though for my crystal gel so when i go in and apply gels i use a dotting tool to scoop out my gel but that's the only time i use it up until now i have just been using them over and over again <laughs> so shout out to my dotting tool <laughs> and a quick side note y'all i have to address the elephant in the room my nails <laughs> they look horrible and they have been looking like this for a minute i'm ashamed to even tell y'all how long i'm not even going to tell you how long i've been looking like this but i i'm just doing so bad right now hopefully soon i will be able to get myself together but i'm gonna move on to the set and here y'all i am making another x'd out smiley face so this one has been super popular too i feel like this design is just morphing into different elements so at first it was like just the straight up smiley face now it's all about like this little x'd out smiley face <laughs> so i'm just going in with my striping brush using my young nails paint gel and i a few videos ago hauled these paint gels and i have been using them up so i was glad i went and made that purchase now to make these x's y'all i am being just super careful when i do this i am not using a heavy hand at all when you go in and you're just heavy with it then I find, well, for me, that's when I start messing up. So I have to go in very light at first. And if I need to darken it up, then I'll go in and add just a little bit more pressure. But here with these X's, I'm really paying attention to the size. You see that I don't have a lot of space because of the stiletto shape. So I'm making sure that I'm not overdoing that X. Now I'm gonna go in and just create the smile and then I'm going to cure this. So I'm coming back to my middle finger and I already have that cured. So now I'm gonna come in and start creating my dots which are the eyes of the smiley face. So when I'm doing anything, y'all know I love to split it up. So I'm gonna do all of the eyes first once I get all of them down, then I'll come back in with my striping brush and I will create the smile.
Then to finish it off, I'm going to add just a little tongue at the bottom of that smiley face. And I just took a red and basically just did a little dollop underneath. And that was it. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys love this set like I did. And if you are not subscribed to me, please do so. And don't forget, y'all go follow me on Instagram. And I will see y'all in another video. Bye.